morning, preschoolers. How are you? Okay, ready? It's a new week. Let's sit down, crisscross, take a deep breath. Hello again. I'm here with all my friends. It's good, so good to praise the Lord and sing together. Hallelujah, hallelujah to the King. It's so good to be together and say hello again. Good morning, Grace. Good morning, Tori. Good morning, Haynes. Good morning, Zoe. Good morning, Dorothy. Good morning, Cozy. Good morning, Charlie. Good morning, Ransom. Good morning, Emma. Good morning, Delia. Good morning, Nico. Good morning, Addie. Good morning, Camden. Good morning, Penny. Good morning, Decky. Good morning, Sonia. Good morning, Joel. Good morning, Garrett. Good morning, Grace. Good morning, Noah. Good morning, Ollie. Good morning, Ruby. Good morning, Evie. Good morning, Nathan. Good morning, Ruben. Good morning, Asher. Good morning, Finley. Good morning, Madeline. Good morning, Benjamin. Good morning, Lila. Good morning, Tia. Good morning, Veda. Good morning, Ezra. Good morning, Fletcher. Good morning, Jacob. Good morning, Oslo. Good morning, Ollie Small. Good morning, Walden. Good morning, Mia. Good morning, Noli. Good morning, Aiden. <sighs> it's a new week and we have a new calendar. We started on Friday. So let's get right to it. Preschoolers. Oh, because guess what? It's also a new letter. So preschoolers, how many days are there in the week? There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So, last time we were together, we got a new, a new um, calendar. So I'm gonna start a new pattern. So we started on with orange. So what should we do after orange? Well, let's do purple. So Saturday, well, we'll do this purple. Saturday we were home, right? It was a nice day. I hope everybody had fun. And then let's do green for Sunday because green's my favorite color and Sunday is my favorite day of the week because it's a day I get to do church with my family and give a day to Jesus. Okay, and then what does that make today? Ready? Yesterday was Sunday, so Sunday, Monday. Let's make Monday pink. All right, so now Mrs. Small has a new four-part pattern. Are you ready? So we have to learn this one now. Orange, purple, green, pink. What's going to be next, guys? What's going to be tomorrow? Orange, purple, green, pink. So we're starting over. So what's the first color again? Orange. So tomorrow will be orange. So now we know what day of the week it is. We know what color our pattern will be. Where are we at? This is so easy. Too easy for you smart preschoolers. Well, let's see. One, two, three, four. I have a lot of four-year-olds in my classroom. If you were four, clap your hands. I love four-year-olds. All right, so it is a new week. Really quickly, what season are we in? Remember, we use, sometimes use our hands to talk about the three different seasons that we are in. Four seasons? My goodness. It's Monday. Winter, spring, summer, fall. Winter, spring, summer, fall. So what season are we in? We're in spring. And now I know all of you have started singing the song, so we might as well sing it together, right? Because what shape does that make? The seasons, it makes a circle, right? God's love is like a circle, a circle big and round. For when we see a circle, no ending can be found. And so the love of Jesus goes on eternally, forever and forever. I know that he loves me. So we are in spring. And what is exciting about spring? We've been learning so much about spring. 
We've been learning that we plant things in spring and we learned about flowers and the parts of a flower that there's roots and a stem and leaves and petals and seeds. Well, this week, since we are going to be doing the letter A, letter A, Anna in the garden, Anna in the garden. So here we go by Diane Dawson Hearn. Important page. So we're going to learn about different kinds of flowers. And this one's called a marigold. And look at the seeds. All right. You guys ready? Here's a dedication page. One, two, three, four. To Betty Gallagher and her garden of children. That's the dedication page. February is bleak and cold. Very true. But Anna does not care. Today is her birthday. Among the many presents is a small package. What are these? She asked, opening the package. Those are seeds, said Anna's mother. Seeds for the spring garden. But the garden is covered with snow, says Anna. We are not going to plant these seeds in the garden yet, her mother replies. Her mother brings out some special pots and soil into the sunroom. Together, she and Anna plant the tiny seeds. Spring is coming. The snow melts in the garden. Tulips and daffodils peek up through the wet earth. Crocuses are blooming inside. Warm and safe, the seedlings are starting to grow. Impatience, marigold, zinnia, pansies. Tulips and daffodils nod cheerfully in spring breeze. Other plants turn green and sprout new leaves. The whole garden is coming to life. Now it is warm enough to start planting the seedlings. Anna picks a special place in the front for them to grow. When hot weather comes, weeds must be pulled. These are called bleeding hearts. There are her um, impatience and her marigolds. Oh, that's a weed. And these are called astilbe. This is small love flowers. Afterwards, Anna waters the flowers. It takes a lot of work to have a beautiful, pretty garden. But there, hey, we know what those are, don't we? Those are open. And Loxfur, and thistle. So many flowers are blooming in the garden. Anna tries her best, but there are more than she can count. The days are getting short and the leaves begin to turn. Soon the growing season will be over. Leaves are falling in the garden. Frost has killed the flowers Anna planted in the spring. The other plants will stay and grow until next year. Winter is here. Beneath the snow, the plants and bulbs are sleeping. They are safe till the, under their white blanket. February comes again. Anna is a whole year older. Eagerly, she searches for the small package among her presents. <gasps> she smiles. Seeds, Anna says to her mother, seeds for the spring garden. So here are the different kinds of plants. And all week we're going to be learning and drawing them and learning all about them. And I want you to, to think about them lots and lots so that you can see if you see them in your gardens this spring and summer. Okay? These are called perennials. These come back every year. You don't have to have seeds. They keep coming back every year in your garden once you start them. Cone flowers. What are those? Miss Rumpheus' lupins. These are called hostas, black-eyed Susans, dwarf asters, dwarf bleeding hearts, daylilies, poppies, one of Mrs. Small's favorite, primrose, another one of my favorite, foxglove, daisy, one of my favorites, a stilby, peonies, that's my favorite flower, so, and then campanilla, but my favorite, Mrs. Small's favorite, some flowers, and I want to know what yours are. I love peonies. A still be. These are what are in my garden. Peonies, a still be. Poppies, black eyed Susans, lupins, and daisies. Because I had daisies in my wedding. So, yeah, I like all of them, really, don't I? I keep picking them. But my, my favorite, 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 favorite 
our peonies. Those are my favorite, favorite, favorite. And a silly. And we, okay, I can't, I can't pick, I just can't do it. Okay, next are bulbs. They cut, I'm gonna bring in some bulbs for you to see because they, they're kind of funny. And maybe me and Mrs. Smith can plant them in our garden outside. Do you think we should do that, Mrs. Smith? That would be fun. I think so. Okay, so bulbs are often planted in the fall. Mrs. Cronin, is it okay if we do it in the spring? We know we won't, they won't come up, but I'll ask Mrs. Cronin, she'll know. Um, in the fall, two to eight inches in the ground, and then in the spring, they sprout up like magic, okay? And they come back every year. So, windflowers, snowdrops, lilies or bulbs, crocuses, those have already come up. I wonder if you've seen them at your house. They're purple and white, and they just boop, and they come up sometimes with snow still. They're amazing. These are my one of my favorites because they're kind of like a God's promise that, yes, Amber, Mrs. Small, spring is here. Even though there's snow on the ground, praise the Lord. He is always with us, and he always keeps his promises. And He, we have four seasons, and after winter, it's always spring. Hallelujah. Um, uh, -da -da, I forget how to say that. Tulips. Oh, allium. I love allium, too. These are different allium. These are like... I, Ellie and I'm used to are purple, but tulips, one of my favorite flowers. Daffodils, hyacinth, um, aconic, aconic, I forget how to say that one too. Hyacinth, crocuses, and irises. Mrs. Small has this in my garden. I have tulips in my garden. I have irises in my garden. I need to get some more daffodils. I have crocuses in my garden. I don't have the other ones. I do love hyacinth. That would be fun. The little grape ones and then the bigger ones. And I really should get some. Allium, because I do like allium a lot. Okay, then the last type of flowers, the ones that we're going to grow, I'm going to um, grow them. We're going to grow them. You'll see how. I have a secret. These are flowers that Anna grew from seeds. They are the kind that just come one year, and they're super colorful, but they can't f survive through the winter, so new ones have to be planted. Zinnias, marigolds, pansies, and impatiens. So those are the different types of flowers. So we're gonna learn so much about flowers this week and there are lots about the letter A, Anna's garden. And um, we're, gonna, we're gonna do a lot of flower things. Flowers are beautiful. One of my favorite verses is about how we are all, all like, that we should never worry because look at the fields and the flowers and how beautiful they are. And they're more splendid than King Solomon's robes and they don't have to worry about being dressed. So we don't have to worry about clothes because of the flowers of the fields have stuff. You don't have to worry. So anyway, oh, Mrs. Smith is laughing at me. I'm picturing some preschoolers using that to say, but mom, I don't have, have to, to worry, worry about clothes. You, need clothes. To wear, you don't have to worry about where they're gonna get them, but they should be on your body. It's a great choice. <laughs> anyway, guys, I love you. I'm excited for A week. A, apple, a. Uh, a is a tricky one. It's a vowel, so it has two different sounds. It says its name, A, Anna, or um, America. What? Airplane. Let's say Airplane. So it says its name, and then it also has a short sound, A, uh, like apple. A, apple, A. Uh. So here is Anna's, A, Anna's garden. I love you guys. I can't wait for this week.